Hello, this is Dr. Henley at Henley Innovations. Today I will use Stallion 3D to find the drive force and side force acting on a sailboat. Stallion 3D solves the actual geometry um, involved in the problem, so I can use the exact STL file of the boat with the flying sail um, to set up the problem. First, I import the STL file and then I can size that STL file so it matches the actual size of the sailboat. The next step is to input the apparent wind and the wind direction. To do that, we use a flow tool and we can enter the wind speed, 15 knots in this case, its direction of um, negative 45 degrees. Next, we can set our reference areas and reference lengths to calculate the moment coefficients if they are needed. Here we look at the CAD file and we obtain this model from Grab CAD. The next step is to set up the flow field conditions. To do this, we click on the CFD um, setup menu. This will allow us to set the size of the problem. We can set a small, medium, or detail um, analysis, and then we can um, set a boundary at the waterline. This allows Stallion 3D to compute the aerodynamic forces such as the side force of drag and the drive force. The next step is just to actually solve the problem. Click on the CFT setup and then um, generate the grid and solve the flow. Stallion 3D automatically generates the grid and then solves the flow. In this case, it takes a less than two hours because of the medium sized grid. Here we see um, the pressure on the sails and on the top side of the boat. And basically, we are using a Reynolds average Navier-Stokes solver and the pressures are computed quite accurately in Stallion 3D. We also notice that the <coughs> pressure um, below the waterline is set to atmospheric by default and it allows Stallion 3D to compute accurate values of the, the side force and drive force um, acting on the um, deck and um, sail of the boat. Because you do not have to defeature the geometry, we see that Stallion 3D maintains the side rails, even the rope at the back of the boat, and all the features of the geometry. And the program solves these as part of the solution as well. Um, next, we look at another variable. We can look at the velocity. We are using a RAND solver in Stallion 3D. And we see that the velocity on the surface is um, pretty small because we are looking at the velocity in the boundary layer um, at a position very close to the surface of the boat. Before we get to the actual calculation of the forces and moments, we want to look at a, a little bit of flow visualization and we are going to look at the streamlines between the deck and the jib. And we'll notice that the, the streamline starts on the underside of the sail on the pressure side and then curl around to the suction side and they resemble the um, flow pattern that you'll find um, on a um, low aspect ratio delta wing at a high angle of attack. 
Finally, we calculate the aerodynamic forces. We go to the aerodynamic data menu. It's just a one-click event. And we click the aerodynamic forces, and we get the magnitudes of the lift, drag, side force, um, and moment in the x, y, and z direction. This is of Dr. Patrick Hanley at Hanley Innovations. For more information, please contact us at 352-240-3658 or visit our website at hanleyinnovations.com. Thanks for watching.